if you're not sure what to do, if you're going to visit Icy Straight Point, then rest assured there's a lot more to do than the zip line and gondola ride. There are two separate cruise docks, Wilderness Landing and Adventure Landing. However, there is a free gondola ride between the two docks so that you can take advantage of all the attractions. We disembarked at Adventure Landing, which provides a visitor centre that includes restaurants, exhibits and explanations of what other activities you can do in the area. We took the free gondola ride over to the Wilderness Landing area, which provided a very pleasant passage through the rainforest canopy. The Sky Guider gondola to the top of the mountain cost about $50 per person and was booked through our cruise provider. This cost is included if you book the zipline excursion. Unfortunately, cloud cover at the top limited the view that we could see. Reports of bear activity also meant that we were unable to explore the walking trails at the top of the mountain either on our own or with a guide. So disappointed, we headed back down to Wilderness Landing. Our day began to get a lot better when we noted a short nature trail at the bottom of Wilderness Landing. We can't recommend this short trail highly enough, it's absolutely fantastic and provides really pleasant walking through the forest. And about halfway along the trail you're treated to the spectacular sight of the nest of a bald eagle. at a rocky beach close to the cruise dock and provides opportunities to explore the shoreline. It is possible to book whale watching tours, bear sighting tours, even fishing excursions, but availability is limited and it's probably best to book these through your cruise provider. five minute walk from the Adventure Landing cruise dock is the Cannery Museum which has some really interesting exhibits but also has a number of restaurants, bars and shops for those souvenirs. A highlight of our day was the Clinkit Tribal Dance Performance. This provided a fascinating and enlightening guide into the traditions of the Clinkit people. The bus ride covering the 1.6 miles into the nearby city of Huna costs $5 per person. You can chance just turning up and booking a whale watching excursion from the harbour side in Huna, or you can just explore what is rather a sleepy city. Luna is quaint and has plenty of charm, and we loved exploring it. We found the totem carving workshop to be particularly interesting. Deciding to walk back to the cruise ship was an excellent choice, as we could really take in the spectacular and breathtaking views and the natural beauty of our surroundings. Back aboard the ship, we were treated to some better weather and we sat up on the deck drinking cocktails scanning the bay for whales. And luckily two orcas accompanied the ship out of the bay as we sailed away. We enjoyed our day in Icy Strait Point, it's got plenty of charm and authenticity, but we did wish we'd booked a nature-based activity rather than our sky ride gondola.